The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo is a richly layered and emotionally charged novel set in 15th century Paris. It weaves together multiple storylines, exploring themes of love, societal injustice, and the human capacity for compassion. The novel revolves around three central characters, Quasimodo, a deformed and solitary bell ringer of Notre Dame Cathedral, Esmeralda, a beautiful and kind-hearted gypsy dancer, and Claude Frollo, a conflicted and tormented archdeacon. The story begins with a vivid description of medieval Paris, focusing on the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral. Quasimodo, who is physically disfigured and deaf, is adopted by Claude Frollo and becomes the bell ringer of the cathedral. Despite his physical appearance, Quasimodo possesses a gentle soul, finding solace in the company of the cathedral's gargoyles. Esmeralda, a free-spirited and captivating young woman, captures the attention of many men, including Captain Phoebus, a handsome soldier, and Pierre Gringoire, a struggling poet. Esmeralda's dancing and beauty make her the object of desire and adoration for those around her. However, it is Claude Frollo who becomes consumed by his infatuation with Esmeralda. He battles inner turmoil between his religious vows and his growing passion for her. Frollo's obsession leads him down a dark path as he delves into black magic and seeks to possess Esmeralda, ultimately setting off a tragic chain of events. Meanwhile, Quasimodo, driven by his loyalty and love for Esmeralda, saves her from a mob of angry townspeople who accuse her of witchcraft. In a heart-wrenching scene, Quasimodo offers her sanctuary within the sanctuary of Notre Dame, where she finds temporary refuge. As the narrative progresses, Esmeralda's life becomes increasingly entangled in a web of intrigue and betrayal. She is unjustly accused of murder and witchcraft, leading to her trial and subsequent condemnation. Despite her innocence, the corrupt justice system fails her, and she faces the prospect of execution. In a dramatic turn of events, Quasimodo, driven by his devotion to Esmeralda, rescues her from the gallows and takes her to the cathedral, hoping to keep her safe. However, their sanctuary is invaded by Frollo, who confronts Esmeralda one last time, professing his love and demanding her submission. In the ensuing chaos, Esmeralda refuses Frollo's advances and Quasimodo defends her, resulting in a tragic conclusion. The novel reaches its poignant climax as Esmeralda's life comes to a tragic end, Frollo meets his own downfall, and Quasimodo, heartbroken and consumed by grief, retreats to the bell tower, where he ultimately dies beside Esmeralda's remains. Through the hunchback of Notre Dame, Victor Hugo explores the themes of societal prejudice, love, and the struggle between duty and desire. He depicts the stark contrast between the beauty and grandeur of the cathedral and the ugliness and cruelty that permeate the lives of its inhabitants. The novel serves as a critique of societal injustices and the destructive consequences of unbridled passion and obsession. The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a profound and emotionally charged work that delves into the complexities of human nature and the power of compassion and empathy. Hugo's vivid descriptions, intricate characterizations, and exploration of moral dilemmas create a haunting tale that resonates with readers, urging them to reflect on the timeless themes of love, acceptance, and the consequences of societal prejudice.